Okay, welcome back to the Cycling Tom YouTube channel. So I've been super bored at home with no races in sight, no goals and no nothing. I've been smashing it on Zwift most days but I still miss having the wind in my hair and my tires rolling along the tarmac. So I did what any cyclist with vast amounts of time does. I went onto Strava and I looked for Strava segments and I tried to find some KOMs in my local area. Obviously due to the lockdown laws and stuff, I'm not allowed to go for a big ride, I'm not allowed to go like outside of my local area. So I had to find a KOM that was fairly close to where I'm staying at the moment. I think within five kilometers is the range that we're allowed at the moment. And I also had to find a KOM that is actually achievable because the KOM up Cape Palliser just down the road like I did the other day is probably not gonna be achievable considering Conti Pro got it I think a few years ago. So I scoured Strava looking for the perfect segment that fits these requirements and then I found it, the Cahoutra Power Climb. This climb is only 900 meters long and the current KOM holder Matt Webb Smith has done a time of 1 minute and 20 seconds averaging about 40 kilometers an hour. Looking at the average power of the riders in the top 5-ish, I'm guessing I'm going to have to do an average power of over 450 watts for under a minute 20 if I want to take the KOM. So the gear I'm going to be using today for my KOM attempt, so I'm going to be running my Cannondale Super 6 and I'm opting out for the lightweight using my Shimano C50 tubular wheels. This is just because it's um, basically a little bit of a climb and then false flat the rest of the way all the way up until the end of the 900 meters. So I think it would be a bit of a stretch to try and get those C50s up to speed and they're not really that useful for anything under 40 kilometers an hour and I don't think I'm gonna be going much over 40K an hour. So C50s it is for today. Okay, so we're at the bottom of this little power climb KOM thing. So I'm pretty sure the KOM starts about here. And if you look up there, that's like the steepest part of the climb up there. So once you get to the top of the brow, that's not the end of the KOM. So you, it's like a false flat for another probably 400 meters. And you get to the turn onto the main road, which heads to Martinborough. And then you have to go left. I'm pretty sure it's about 150 meters down there. So it's a real weird segment. So I start here all the way up this little um, power climb along the flat, hook a left, and then probably about 100 to 200 meters you finish the KOM. I don't know exactly where it is, so I'm gonna try and go all the way past it, so that if I did get it, I don't completely ruin my chances. So luckily, the sun's come out, because it's been raining for the past few days, so we've got about an hour of sun, I think, to film this. I don't think I got it. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought actually. I was on 450 like for like the first minute, maybe 500, but I just cracked on that little false flat bit. So yeah, we won't know until we upload to Strava, but I definitely won't have got the KOM. Right, in the road. All right, I've just come back inside. Now I'm gonna check what the power I did and then I'm gonna upload it to Strava. So we look at some numbers. I did 565 watts for a minute. 
Load, load, load. Okay, there's a little rod. Upload, drop. Nah, I didn't get it. I got a personal record though. All right, here's the ride. I got my new personal record up the power climb, but I don't think I got the KOM. I averaged 453 watts for a minute and 26 seconds, and I was still six seconds off the KOM. We did.